Hello everyone. Hi. Benjamin and I are at home. We've decided to do this week's children's message outside in this beautiful day on our trampoline. So we're just gonna get right into it. This one was a little tricky for me to relate because I'll, I'll you'll understand when I start reading it. But it talks a lot about faith. So I'm going to ask Benjamin first, what do you think it means to have faith? Um, believe in people. Believe in people? You have to believe, you trust. Okay, so we're going to see what this Canaanite woman, how she showed her faith. This is from Matthew chapter 15, verses 21 through 28. Jesus went away from there and withdrew to the district of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman from that region came out and was crying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely oppressed by a demon. But he did not answer her a word. So Jesus didn't even acknowledge that she was there. And his disciples came and begged him, saying, send her away, for she is crying out after us. But she's still crying out. And they're just, and Jesus wasn't listening. So he answered, he was talking to her. I was sent only to the last sheep of the house of Israel. He's talking about the Jews. Jesus was sent to save the Jews first. And this woman was not a Jew. She was from Canaanite. But she came and knelt before him, saying she was not going to give up. She really wanted her daughter to be healed. So she came before him, saying, Lord, help me. And he answered her this time, It is not right to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. She said, Yes, Lord, yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. We don't have a dog at our house. We have kitty cats. We have kitty cats, but even our cats like to eat the scraps from the floor that fall yeah. from the table. Yeah, we have um one fat cat that we call a goat. Yes, he eats everything. So we can kind of relate that she, so she's saying even the dogs, because Jesus was kind of calling her a dog, that she shouldn't get, um, take the bread from the children and she's saying but even the dogs get the crumbs and Jesus answered her oh woman great is your faith be it done for you as you desire and her daughter was healed instantly so that's how strong her faith was she had heard about Jesus she believed all of the stories that she had heard that he was curing and healing people and doing great miracles. So she came to him begging, she said, please, Lord, just give me a crumb from the table. That's all it will take to heal my daughter because you are so powerful and you are so mighty. That's all I need from you. Just a crumb from the table. That is what faith is. She trusted that he that Jesus would heal her and he did he didn't do it right away he did it in his own time right sometimes we ask God for things and maybe we don't get it right away maybe we have to ask a few times maybe it's something that we don't even need but the stuff that we need God will always provide he won't always provide it in our time but he will always provide it in his time and he knows what's best so he will always provide for us. And that's why we have faith. Because even though we didn't see all the miracles that Jesus performed, we read about them in this great book that God gave us in the Bible. So we have faith because we read it and we learned about it and we hear about it in Sunday school and at church. And we have faith that God will provide for us and he will take care of us and he loves us. Shall we pray? Dear Jesus, thank you for giving us crumbs, for giving us what we need, even if it's just small. Thank you for 
our faith. We thank you for giving us our faith because our faith comes from you. We thank you for the Bible that strengthens our faith and gives us peace and comfort. All these things we ask and we praise your name. Amen. All right. See you next Bye. time.